right, good evening, everybody. Um, first off, I am Chijams, and um, I'm bringing you this training tonight. If you can see my screen, please type I see or I can see any of those two, so I'll know you can see my screen. First off, um, I'm CEO of Chijams Academy, and um, I'm glad to bring up this particular training to each and every one of you today. So in the next um, 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to be teaching you on what I title the fundamentals of web design, the, the, major, um, the major things you need to become for every website. So there are, there are certain things that are very important in every website. So I'm going to be teaching you guys on the fundamental of web design. It's a simple but complete guide to web design. So, but before I go on, I would like to explain, I'd like to um, tell you more about our academy. So, uh, sorry about this. So we are Chijams Academy, right? We are Chijams Academy and Chijams Academy is Nigeria's foremost infrastructure designed to promote um, skills acquisition and personal development. Um, we are a conglomerate of individuals who believe that the African youth deserves a place in the growing world economy and we are determined to put all our resources together towards equipping as many people as possible with skills that will enable them to become very valuable in the global economy, which is why we've actually brought up this training for you today. Now, we have four core values. The first value is personal development. We are so in about personal development. The second value is skills acquisition as a service. Third value is growth on a global scale. And then finally, financial freedom. Okay. Now, uh, we have a whole lot of training packages that span across all high income skills. Our goal is to ensure that all of our students become the best in the industry through our specially tailored individualized training programs, which will highlight some of them as we go further, right? So here we go, fundamentals of web design. If you can hear me and you can see my screen, please type on the chat box, fundamentals of web design. Fundamentals of web design, okay? Fundamentals of web design. Can you hear me? Please type fundamentals of web design. All right, all right. Fundamentals of web design. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so there are four basic fundamentals of web design. The first is what we call the web hosts. Okay, so the web hosts, okay, before I go on, I will explain the web design as an architectural edifice. Now, before you build a house, if I am I'm, I'm, um, viewing a website right now as a house, before you build a house, certain things need to be in place for you to effectively build. And those things are for websites, what we call the fundamentals. The first of them is what we call the web host. Now, the web host is likened to a land, okay? a land where you put up your building, which is the website, all right? So a web host service is a type of internet hosting service that allows individuals and organizations to make their website accessible via the World Wide Web. What I mean is that if you have a house and your house is built on the land, the web host is the land at which your website is built. And there are several, there are several types of web hosts. We have the shared hosting, we have the virtual dedicated hosting. Out, out. Okay, let me just quickly explain this. Uh, the shared hosting is a kind of hosting that allows two people, two or more people, to host their website on a particular um, hosting service. Okay, so if I if I buy a shared hosting package online, like I told you. Um, like I said here, the web host is hosted on the World Wide Web and it's controlled by the W3C Consortium. Okay, so when I host the, a website using a shared host, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm saying um, the several people that um, I am, I am the several people I am allowing to, um, the several people that allows me to 
to host their website we are going to be as as much as we can on that particular web page okay so a shared hosting allows two three or four or more people to host their website on a particular host so i can view several several things on a particular land that's for shared hosting for virtual dedicated hosting it's 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 a kind of hosting that allows um one person to have a full massive amount of storage space on the internet so i can for instance let's say i'm building a portal a, a full-blown website right or something that is very very amazing sometimes very very big and requires speed and space okay that is what you use a virtual dedicated hosting service to do for instance you use a virtual dedicated, dedicated hosting service to host an app or a piece of online software okay that's that for that that managed hosting is where you buy hosting uh, where you buy a, a hosting package in order to resell it's also called resellers hosting so for instance i buy a large uh, amount of, of web hosting service let's say like 20 terabytes and i begin to sell them in bits okay that's um um uh, what's it called manage hosting then the next one is cloud hosting cloud hosting allows me to store every piece of my data on the cloud okay so we have cloud hosting services such as um, cloud nine um ios um, cloud hosting icloud right they allow you to store any kind of data online please if you can hear me please type cloud hosting cloud hosting cloud hosting okay i want to be sure that you guys are with me and then of course if you have any question for this section please write all of your questions down um, before the end of the section we would attend to all of them okay so write down all of your questions and of course this um, section is being recorded it's being recorded so you won't have any issue getting the record they will make the recording available as soon as possible <clears throat> then after that we have um, the last one the home servers okay so the home servers are a kind of hosting that allows people to have servers around them or with them okay so i can buy a hosting server and install it in my house or in my garage or anywhere close to me and it will just be for my own use okay we have companies we have firms online international firms that do this so they host all of their um data online but they use home servers they use home servers and they do that in their houses in their offices okay that's that for web host and of course web host is one of the basic fundamentals of website design if you don't have a hosting space if you don't have a a place where you host your website where you upload everything about your website you will not have a website okay it is in virtually impossible for you to have a website because your website has what we call web website files and those files is what you upload um to the web host okay so that's that for web host we move over to the next one which is domain names okay um the next one is domain names and like i said here a domain name is an identification string that defines a realm of administrative autonomy it shows authority or control within the internet they are used by various networking contexts and for application specific naming and addressing purposes in simple definition a domain name is how to locate your website okay if a website is a house a domain name is the address of the house i would say this again if a website is a house the domain name is the address of the house for instance uh, the address of our business is in 135 Ilupeju um, uh, uh, Allen Avenue in Lagos right now if I'm if I'm bringing someone to visit me I'll tell the person you will meet me in this particular place in Lagos right now if you are bringing if you want to send someone to your website you give the person your address the address of your website which is what the domain name okay 
if you can hear me please type address address okay if you can hear me please type address all right all right we're good to go so there are several types of domain names uh, we have country specific domain names okay so there are some domain names that speak to only a particular country right we have something like sorry we have something like .co.uk right that's for um the uk we have .com.ng right that's for nigeria we have .ng nigeria we have .co.za that's for south africa right now we have institutional domain names so a company can decide to answer something like um chijans academy dot agency right dot um, okay no we have commercial domain names actually like dot com which is dot commercial dot net means dot network right dot org means dot organization dot org are always uh, normally used by non-profit organizations right we have um dot bees that's for business right we have um okay okay i think i think that's that about that but these are institutional domain names okay then we have what we call sub domains right if you can hear me please type sub domain sub domain yeah there is dot online thank you larry that's amazing um if you can hear me please type sub domains sub domains good now sub domains are a reflection uh, uh sorry they are an abbreviation of the normal domain so i could have something like blogs.chijams.com okay so that means that the blog is a sub is a child domain of the main domain all right so you have a sub domain and a sub domain is a type of domain in which that it is used to define a different but similar infrastructure of a particular ecosystem let me explain for instance in chijams academy we have um, the training area which is the student area we have the chat area and then we have the blog area okay so now these are different applications on their own you use subdomain to illustrate a particular place which does not really relate uh, to every other thing okay so we have the blog is blog.chijamsacademy.com, right? Um, the, the, the chat is chat.chijamsacademy.com, and then um, the academy is academy.chijamsacademy.com. So those are sub-domains. Now, um, in, the, in the beginning of 2019, there was an introduction to W3 schools, what we call special domains. So you could now decide to have any kind of domain you want. So we start having domains like dot school, right? We start having domains like dot dot me, dot agency, dot b. Sorry, dot. Um, so having domains on anything, you can have something like um, ifani dot book, right? Um, dot mouse, right? Um, um, Chris dot chat. Okay, those are what we call special domains. If you can hear me, please type special domains, or you can type an example of a special domain that you know. Okay. If you have an example of a special domain, please type in the chat box. That would be amazing so that other people can also learn from that. Okay. Now we move over to the next one, which is um, the next. Okay. Before that, like I said, your domain is your address. Okay. Your domain is the address, is what people can use to locate you. And it is in, it's always in form of what we call URL. URL is a short form for Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, they can, it's what is used to locate where you are on the World Wide Web. For instance, I am on the World Wide Web at Shijams Academy, but how do somebody locate me? So I'll tell them to go to chijamsacademy.com. That is the address, and they'll be able to locate me from there. So your domain name is another fundamental um, of web design. It's a very important part of web design, OK? Um, the next is
Okay, sorry about that. Um, the next is your website interface. Now, I, I have been, for, uh, since we started, I have been likening a website to a house. Now, remember when I said um, that if you liken a website to a house, your hosting space is the land, right? And I said that the domain name is the address. Now, your website interface is the house itself, okay? Now, like I said here, this is the main website as designed or developed by designer or developer, right? There are basically two types of websites. Those that are developed through coding and those that are designed using scripts or website builders. Now, website builders include WordPress, Joomla, Moodle, Drupal, etc. And then, of course, in our website, jamsacademy.com, we designed it a website builder, WordPress. And every other website that we have built so far, we have used WordPress. Now, uh, time has gone, right, where you have to go through a six months, one year, ten years training just to learn how to build websites. There are a couple of tools online that you can use to design anything you want, however it is you want it. All you need to do is to learn a skill of web design, which is what we are bringing to you today. I'm showing you guys the, um, I'm showing you guys the, um, the simple and easy way to web design. Please, if you are annotating on the page, um, please stop annotating. Okay, I'm going to clear. Uh, the annotation right now. I'm going to clear it right now, but please stop annotating on the screen, okay? All right, so that's uh, that's that about that. Your website is the building, and if you are skilled in building a website, you will make money. Um, PJ Favor is saying he missed the previous news. We're going to share the video, okay? We're going to share the video. Okay, let me just show you guys some examples of websites that we have built so far without learning any without using any code so um let me just quickly go to um let me show you something we have built a whole lot of websites without using any code okay and then this is this is this is some of them let me show you quickly quickly um okay so okay so this is a website that we built uh recently for a client skyways travels and tours as you can see this website it's very amazing it's for a travel agency and it was built without using any code like this is built without using any code no line of code was used on this website it was built using wordpress okay so this this actually brings me to my fourth um to my fourth I, I, you can see the website is as responsive as anything let me show you how responsive it is if i if i minimize this this way as you can see it is it is taking the screen of <laughs> someone is saying i have so many tabs is that what you are supposed to be looking at <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so this is this is um this is how amazing the website is we have we have we have built several websites like this let me show you another one we built um, um so what i'm trying to show you is that you don't necessarily have to go and learn how to code in order to learn how to build a website all you need is to put down your um, time and learn how to build websites using any website builder, okay? There is Wix, there is WordPress, there is Joomla, there is Moodle. There is a whole lot of them, okay? And, uh, okay, this is a website for a cryptocurrency firm that I built recently, right? As you can see, this entire website was built without any code. And it's very, very interactive. Uh, let me show you verse nine. Verse nine is a website for a music, um, a music um, company. We recently built that too, right? Of course. Okay, someone is asking the difference between website built with code and those built without code. Uh, the difference is in the building. Okay, is the, the way we the way websites have gone right now. It, uh, it, there is you might not necessarily find the difference. Okay. You might not necessarily find any difference. Whatever it is we want to build, we build it and you will not even see the difference. Okay, let me show you an e-commerce website. This is mnc.com. Okay. This, 
is an what, what's going to show up right now is an e-commerce website where that was built using WordPress. Now, as you can see, this website is looking exactly like Jumia. Okay. Can, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please type I hear. So I'll be sure that you guys can hear me. Please type I hear, I hear. Are you seeing the responsiveness of this website? This is like, this was built without any line of code. As you can see, there is a hover screen. So this, this whole website was built without... Yeah, someone is asking if I'm teaching how to build a website. Yes, I do. We teach how to build websites. All right, so um, this that's that about that. Let me quickly go back to my... Uh, let me quickly go back to the screen I was sharing before. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's that about that. Now, finally, number four fundamentals is the designer or the developer. You have to know how to design, okay? Having the right tools is amazing. So also is having a full knowledge of web development industry. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is that there is big money in website design, okay? Everybody is going online right now. Everybody is going online. And if you, if you are not online, if you are part of the people, like I said before, if you are part of the people that are sending other people online, right, you will make money online. But of course, you don't necessarily have to um, start afresh and start learning everything that they used to know about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the whole rest of them. You can fast track your learning and learn one of the tools, okay? You have to be skilled, learn the rules of the game, and respect again the command and respect of the client okay that's why we're actually bringing you our web design training the full bloom web design training um i think i'm just going to pause this screen right now and show you um uh, one of our interactive websites that we built sorry web pages for this particular purpose okay i'll show you the web page for this particular purpose and this is for everybody okay this is for everybody we are training you to become a well sought out web designer that can do this kind of website. Okay, these kinds of websites. These are some of the websites that we do. Now, people that someone's asking, why are people learning? People are learning so that they can know it, not necessarily to use it. All right. I learned HTML, CSS, and stuff like that. And of course, it's helping me in my WordPress career, but I don't necessarily use them all the time. Okay. So we know what we are, we, are, we are bringing up to this table and we want to show you guys how this is, okay? Um, someone is saying, okay, okay. So these are, these are the things that you're going to learn. We're going to teach you how to select the right uh, web hosting company for your domain name and domain name. We're going to show you how to design websites with WordPress, website like conga.com, Lizzy, MS, like I just showed you right now. We're going to show you how to do search engine optimization. We're going to show you how to select the right WordPress team. I'm going to show you how to navigate the common tips that kills WordPress websites and avoid mistakes. We're going to show you how to create mouth watering contents that attract your ideal customers. We're also going to show you how to track your website performance using analytics. We'll even show you how to accept cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin payments using your WordPress site. There are a whole lot of, of, of bonuses available here. Okay, now I'm going to rush right now. I'm going to quickly rush and then show you something very amazing because you don't have to miss this one okay now um this particular training is i think it's um you will be able yes the website was built with wordpress yes sir now you'll be able to learn on learn and relearn so for people that have already have html css and, and and javascript um knowledge this is opportunity for you to learn more okay for you to become better all right. Now, in this training, um, I'm actually offering um, a discount. Okay. So we are offering a 90% discount for the first 20 people. I think we don't even we want only, I think we're taking only 20 people because I'm inviting my boss, my own boss that trained me on website development. He's coming to, to join the, this particular training. Okay. So it's going to be very amazing. I'm going to show you how you can learn how to design a website in just two weeks. And of course, um, I have a, a new client. I got a new client last week, and we are going to together, me and you that is going to join this class. Together, we are going to build the website for that client. 
okay we will build the website practically and you are going to see how everything is done it's going to be for two weeks 8 p.m every day okay so i, I made it 8 p.m so that whenever when, when you are done with all your normal activities you can come and you learn okay and it's going to be a very very practical class we are going to be doing in fact everybody that's going to join that class will build their own website before the class ends so it's going to be very very practical and of course i just told you now there are going to be there's going to be a 90 percent discount for the first 20 people so if you are part of the 20 students um i think you should just quickly go to chijamsacademy.com slash webdev to go and enroll right now like go right now and enroll there are there are 25 people there are 25 people on this um this meeting right now so if you are part of those 25 people you have this discount this discount is for you okay you have a 90 percent discount okay guys so i think it's time for me to take questions okay so um remember remember um you should start now to start working on your goals okay start now and start working on your goals i'm going to drop the link um on the chat box jazzacademy.com slash web there i'm going to drop the link on the chat box so that you can go now and go and join because once it's 20 people are done the price increases okay so don't miss it right now don't miss the, the discount right now um the next thing is remember the rule for 2020 is learn a high income skill number two find a market for your skill or create one and of course web design is a high income skill right now secondly the market for it is is enormous okay the market for it is enormous. i'm even going to show you how to create an upwork account i'll show you how to create an upwork account and how to design websites for people online and make money from it and number three sell to the highest bidder okay sell to the highest bidder we'll do that during the training Someone is saying, I don't have a website yet. What do I do? That's, the, that's what the training is for. Okay? That's what the training is for. You are going to learn how to build a website of your own. Okay? Um, okay. Let me just quickly go into the question and answer segment. Right? So, Emmanuel Omo, um, if you have a question, please type it on the chat box. I will respond to all your questions in the next 10 minutes. Okay? Emmanuel Omo will, Omo, Omi Wole, sorry about um, destroying your name, <laughs> said, can i brush you through the slides as from start and so okay okay so today we're talking about fundamentals of web design okay we, we said that there are four basic fundamentals of every website okay the first one is the web host we talked about the different what the web host is and the different types of web hosting services right the second one is the domain name okay we talked about what a domain name is how that a domain name is the address of your website in the international space sorry in the internet how to locate your website in the internet thirdly we talked about the website itself that a website is the building okay the main building of um uh, the main building is your website and then finally we say the web designer that the web designer is the architect he is both the architect the brick layer, the, in fact, the web designer is the, the entire workforce that makes sure that a building is built when it comes to web design, okay? And that the more skilled a web designer is, the better the web designer charges and the better is paid in the internet industry. And then finally, we came to tell you that you don't necessarily need to spend six months to one year to go and learn code in order to become a web designer. You can learn how to use several design tools that we have available, okay? That we have available design websites. Um, Josie said the link I sent is showing her videos. Um, sorry about that. I'll type the link again. I'll type the link again. All right, I just did. I just did. That's web dev. You shouldn't just show you a video. Okay, someone said, how does the owner of the website benefit financially from the site? You benefit from people buying from what you are selling on the website. Okay, so um, if if uh, if you're having issues, okay, guys, if you have issues, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. 
I think I can I can access to you from WhatsApp. Okay. So, all right, all right. Wow, wow, wow. Emmanuel, your summary is on point. He said, website as a house. The land on which the house is built is the hosting. The domain name is the address. Website interface is the house itself. And the designer is the architect. This is amazing. This is exactly the summary. Um, okay, Larry said you chat me up. All right, all right. So do we have any other question in the house tonight? Um, let me see. Let me see. How does... The owner of have answered that. Um, okay, summary, I've answered that. Um, okay, okay. Okay, someone is saying, thank God that it is um, 8 p.m. Yeah, the timing for the classes is 8 p.m. And we are starting on Monday. The lesson starts on Monday, on Monday, okay? It's starting this Monday. On Monday, um, 10th of August, 2020, we, we are starting. So the first 20 people to register now, we have 26 people on this chat right now so the first 20 people to register will get that 90 percent discount that is on our website right now there is a 90 percent discount that is on our website right now you will get it because you are part of the 20 people okay all right so um someone is asking the question please ask your question again i didn't get to the question when you asked it uh please just help me retype it retype it Okay, someone said, uh, what is, the, okay, can we get a recorded version? Yes, the, the, the um, yeah, the, the, the section is being recorded, you will, you will. Uh, what is the advantage of designing from the scratch versus using the web view that's ready for e-commerce? Uh, the advantage is that you will get to spend more time when you are designing from the scratch, okay? For instance, I can build an e-commerce website in, let's say, three weeks. But if I'm, if I'm coding, of course, I know how to code, right? But if I'm coding, it take me, let's say, close to three to four months to finish up. And your client doesn't want to know how you did it or how or the technicalities involved. Your client wants to know that is the job done, okay? So you can you could see um, the last website I showed you, um, the last website I showed you is a travel agency. The, the, my client did not ask me, okay, so are you going to use WordPress? Are you going to do this? She asked me, when am I getting the job ready? And I told the person, give me this particular amount of time. And in that time, I delivered the website, I got paid, and that's it. Okay? So the only difference is that you get to showcase that, ah, I have coding skills. Oh, oh my God. I can code from heaven to hell. And then, of course, you spend more time in coding. That's the only advantage and advantage. I hope I've been able to answer your question clearly. So Opera is saying, I don't have a website um to get one you just you just that's what we're teaching you you have to create the website okay that's what the training is for do you understand um peter is saying how do i register among um the first 20 participants um peter visit um this website i'm going to put up on the screen right now um slash web dev you are getting the discount now. Like if you register now, you are getting the discount right now. Uh, someone is saying, okay, so it won't show in the no, 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 no. If look at the let me let me give you an example. Let me just show you right now. The website we designed, there is no place you will see this site was designed with WordPress. Okay, there is no place you would see something like that shows you that it was actually done with WordPress. Let me let me quickly show you. Um, um, which website should I show right now? Okay, let me show um, um, Skyways. Let me just show Skyways. Now, as you can see here, on, on this Skyways website, okay, sorry, I've not shared my screen. Let me quickly share my screen. Um, you share. All right, so as you can see my screen, um, there is nowhere you will know if you look at this website, there is no way, except I just told you right now, there is no how you will know that this website was done with WordPress. Because even at the end, we did copyright 2020 Skyways Travel. Because we know our onions, okay? We know how to do these things. Look at the, the branding. We made, it, we made sure that it looks exactly like the company's branding, you know, the, the interfaces, the, 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 the uh, responsiveness, just so amazing. Because all your customer wants to know is 
something that can move their brand to the next level okay so your customer only wants something that can move their brand to the next level and not um to know how you designed it okay all right that's that about that um the next question is how much does it cost to have an e-commerce and corporate website um, it depends on the functionality of the website so uh, if you have the functions you can chat me up and i'll give you uh, a rundown of the cost for uh, a website okay guys uh, i'll take one more question one more question and then we are done for today okay so one more question meanwhile remember i told you rush now and join the first 20 people go to www.jamsacademy.com slash web dev okay slash web dev that's um how to assess the discount okay that's to assess that's how you assess the discount all right okay so um last question okay someone said like how much do i charge for website like i just said it depends on the kind of website okay it depends on the type of website that you are building all right so it de there are, there are several kinds of website it depends on the kind of website okay all right um um okay guys i think that's the last question that's the last question um okay um okay thank you guys for coming around today i think that's the last question um someone said does web dev makes you a front-end developer yes if you are able to design um uh, websites it makes you a front-end developer if you're able to design with wordpress you become a front-end developer automatically because website uh, um, uh, wordpress is a front-end development tool okay it's a front-end development tool so it makes you a front-end dev so guys this is where we are going to end today's uh, this section of free web design training on fundamentals of website design this training was brought to you by Chijams Academy. Remember, if you want to join the first 20 people, go to www.chijams.com slash webdev. I'll see you guys in... Okay, Josie. Josie is raising up her hand. Um, Sammy, Sammy, I'm going to share the video on the group. Okay? I'm going to share the video on the group. All right? So just expect the video to come up on the group um, maybe today or tomorrow. Okay? WordPress cannot make you a back-end developer. Okay, back end developers are for softwares. They develop softwares, not websites. Okay, so for you to learn back end development, you need to know Python, you need to know um, JavaScript, you need to know jQuery, React, and all of them. Okay, all right, all right, okay, cool. So, guys, thank you so much for coming around in today's training. I hope you've received value, and I'm expecting to see you all on our training on Monday. It's going to be amazing like you have never seen a training like that before it's going to be very 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 practical so guys go now and get registered because it's going to be amazing remember till we all win we are all a work in progress i'm expecting to see great people come out from this training and become high income earners you can earn up to 500 to sell to one millionaire in one website guys uh, well i won't talk much about that when you join the training I will show you how to do that, okay? So thank you so much for your time and do have a lovely night. Bye-bye.